Hello. It's hard to imagine Bath without the egg, isn't it? Yet it was only 16 years ago that we opened a great celebration and fanfare. It's funny to think that a virus could bring it to the brink before it had even come of age. It's been a really busy and successful 16 years. I mean, I can really hardly believe it. We work with brilliant people, young people, children, families and artists from all across the district, the country and the world even. We've won awards and we've successfully and tirelessly fundraised throughout the whole period to try to enable access to as many young people as possible. Every day I cycle to work, I feel humbled and excited in equal measure. It's not quite the same doing it here on my own. Just four days before lockdown, we were in talks with venues from the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, China, Singapore, about taking one of our great groundbreaking plays there written and performed by Bath's own creative genius, Toby Thompson, who first visited the egg as a participant as a shy 12-year-old boy. Everything that the egg stands for has enabled that young man to creatively grow into the worldwide hit that he is today. And of course, the people who benefit from all of this are the families, the children and the young people and the creative people of Bath and the surrounding area. And whilst adults might be in need of this pause, as we're all saying to one another, I feel less sanguine about asking children to do this. They really are only young once. And what if there's a, a young Toby Thompson out there waiting in the wings? Who's going to find him? And so for this reason, I urge you to donate, to help us get back on our feet, to bring back our staff who are the egg's single greatest asset. And let's get creative and let's get watching some plays. So here's the link. Thank you.